It's Monday, September 23rd, and I need 27 points out of Peyton Manning tonight. Don't call it a comeback, guys. You think he's gonna do it? Who's he playing? Raiders. Sa the Raiders. He could do it. I need it. Ugh! Fantasy football is gonna give me an ulcer or three. Welcome to No Filter, guys. I'm Katie Nolan, and these are your top headlines of the day. A crazy Dodgers fan decided it would be a good idea to get safety Rashad Johnson lost a fit, then kept playing. Losing a finger. That's terrible for some people, but really good advice for others. So far this season, the Chiefs, Dolphins, and Bears are a combined 9-0. and Meanwhile, the Packers, 49ers, and Giants are 2-7. and Football this season is weird and kind of slow and backwards. Kind of like football in every other part of the world all the time. High school freshman Dylan Moses has already committed to LSU for the year 2017. He announced it with a tweet, and he confirmed it with a text message, which sounds like every other commitment a high schooler makes. I wonder when it's going to be Facebook official. He's committing so far in advance that as of right now, the 2017 team has only one person on it. Kind of like the Patriots this year. We're 3-0, and but like... Get excited, guys. Hockey news. The Maple Leafs and Sabres got into a five-minute brawl during a preseason game last night. Even the goalies got involved. I haven't seen two people in the third period get into a fight like that while wearing bulky pads since the girls' locker room in middle school. Mumford and Sons have announced that they're going on a hiatus. So in other words, they're going the folk home. Even if they go on hiatus, it's not like they're going to be any quieter than they already are. You could be dead silent and still... What's that? Is that Mumford & Sons? Oh, I went to a Mumford & Sons concert last weekend. I took a nap. Floyd Mayweather won more money, $200,000, from betting on Johnny Manziel and the Aggies this weekend. So he made a ton of money off Johnny Manziel, and Johnny Football's never going to see a penny. Floyd Mayweather sounds like the NCAA. Cornell canceled its men's lacrosse games this season because the team reportedly made its freshman members chug a bunch of beer to the point of vomiting. So that's good. Give those kids in rural New York a lot of free time. They're going to keep chugging beer and vomiting because there's nothing else to do. Von Miller reportedly tried to work around the NFL's drug tests by hiring his own urine collector. It's got to be hard to find someone who wants to deal with your pee. Right, R. Kelly? Burn. And that's it for No Filter, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to tune in live at 5 p.m. Eastern tonight to Fox Sports 1 for a brand new episode of Crowd Goes Wild featuring NFL Hall of Famer Eric Dickerson. Also, don't forget to cheer for Peyton Manning tonight because I need him. I need him bad. Uh, also, don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Instagram. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and I will see you on your television screens tonight and then right back here tomorrow morning on the Internet. Goodbye.